Ah yes, the Duel Links free to play experience of saving enough gems and opening packs just to have the one card that you really needed to still be in the leftover packs. The experience of looking through the corners just to get some spare gems to open just one more pack and still not get the card that you wanted. Come on man, p p please, just please. Now I've been playing Duel Links for about 2 years and I've built a number of decks simply for the fun factor of it and a problem that I would say exists for the majority of free to play players is the constant addition of new boxes into the game while only having a small pool of resources which is leveling up characters, events, and obviously the trash can that we all know about, mhm. Mm I'd say as an average player of Duel Links, your best shot is to build 3 good decks to their highest potential and then keep saving for maybe 6 months to build another and so on. The problem with this though is that for me personally, I like building a lot of different decks and as a result, I end up having a bunch of different cards for different kinds of decks where only like 4 of them can reach king of games out of 20 of them and not to mention that they aren't as consistent as they can be due to obviously not having enough gems at the time. Another problem is the constant shifting of the meta. The whole process of different decks coming in every month and the coming back of cards from older boxes which are basically essential for the consistency of a deck. And at the end of the day, you find my Gandora deck looking like this just cause I didn't invest in Voltage of Metal for Gear Gigan X or my hero deck looking like this because I never got Miracle Fusion. <sighs> Sorry Sunrise, no extra place for you.